Hey, what's going on, guys? This is KNSC3090 here. We are back with another roster prediction for this upcoming Friday, May 26. I'm going to give you guys 10 players who I think should either be getting upgrades or downgrades based off their recent performance. Now, if I did not mention a player that you think deserves either an upgrade or downgrade, meet me in the comments and let me know. I may have mentioned him in the last couple of videos, so if I did mention him then, I didn't mention him now. So if you think I missed a player, like maybe Matt Kemp, for instance, check back last week's video. He didn't get an upgrade yet, but I think he deserves it. Also, I'm just going to put this out right now. Everyone's saying Dallas Keuchel for Diamond. I agree. However, currently he's on the 10-day DL. That may prevent him from going in it, so I didn't include it, but that's a little bonus thing. Once he's healthy, I do think he's going to go and become a Diamond. He's been dominant this year. But with all that stuff out of the way, let's get right into it, and let's get you guys these 10 roster predictions. Now, I also do want to mention for you guys, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button if you guys do want daily MOB content like this. And if you are enjoying this video, please drop a like. I forgot to mention that earlier. But first off, we got here Starling Casho for the New York Yankees. He's playing like he did three, four years ago when he was a Cub. He's in 335 this year. He has seven bombs. He also has a 511 slugging percentage. He's getting extra base hits. I think you can increase contact and or power. I'm saying plus two. I'm giving him a gold. I think Starlin uh, Casho deserves a gold card. I know those other Yankees are playing really well, but I'm going with Casho this week. Make him an 85. He's now a gold. Next up here, we have Michael Fulmer from the Detroit Tigers, and I think he's getting an upgrade as well. I'm giving him a plus two. Stays a silver, but he's an 83 overall. Potential gold card in the future. Keep that in mind. Um, right now, he has a 2.55 ERA. He has a 1.08 whip. So that whoops pretty solid for a starter. Really good ERA. You can definitely increase those Ks per nine. And like I said, he's a young guy. He pitched really well last year. I believe he got Rookie of the Year last year. So based off that, so this is all the time he's been in the majors, he's been very, very good. I think he should get a bump to an 83. Not a gold yet, but I would not be shocked in maybe a few weeks, a few months. By the end of this year, he's a gold card. Next up here, we have another guy who I think deserves to get an upgrade. And I think Salvador Perez should go gold. He's hitting 285 this year, which isn't like, outstanding. But he's a catcher. Catchers who hit are very hard to find. 285 average is very solid. I mean, you can definitely increase his contact ratings. But he also has a 538 slugging percentage and 11 home runs. So he's hitting the ball for authority. He's getting home runs. He's getting doubles uh, with his speed of 28. I know he's slow in real life, too. He's probably not getting many triples. I didn't check how many triples he's getting. But he is getting a lot of extra base hits. And so if you just boost his contact power a little bit, I think he's getting an upgrade of at least plus one. And the thing is, to help his overall out, he doesn't have to have amazing hitting stats because look at the fielding, the 89 fielding, the 83 arm strength, the 87 arm accuracy. All that stuff helps his overall go up. So he doesn't have to have outstanding hitting numbers because of his defense is so good. So a small upgrade in either power or contact, he gets that gold boost. I think he's going to get it. He's an 85 overall. Next up here, we have a twin... I personally love this card in Diamond Dynasty. He's probably my favorite second baseman in the game. It's Brian Dozier, but I, I got to be real. I think he's getting a downgrade. I think a minus one seems fair. Now, he's hitting about uh, 247 this year, which is a Dozier. That's what Dozier does. He hits 250, but he hits 30, 40 bombs. Now, last year, he did get off to a slow start. Seems like he's getting off to another slow start this year. He only has six home runs, a 422 second percentage. So I say, I think give him a downgrade because of that. However, I mean, if he if he's like Mark Teixeira, how he used to be like a slow starter, but then got hot later in the year, if that happens, and increase him when that happens. But right now, he's just not hitting well. He only has six home runs. You got to bring that power down. I'm staying, keep him a gold, a minus one to an 86. Next up here, we have the worst Seager, the older Seager, Seager excuse me, we have Kyle Seager. I think he's getting a downgrade as well. I actually think he's going silver. I have him as a minus two to an 84. So this year he's in 252. That's, that's down for his career. He only has four home runs. Again, that's down. I mean, project that out. That's down for his career. His slugging percentage is only 374. That's almost 100 points down for compared to his career. He's not hitting the ball with authority. He's not really getting base hits. A lot of it, some of it is definitely luck. But I think he'll turn it around. I mean, he is 29. This is like the prime of his career. But when you're slugging 374, only four home runs with a 252 average, that's not a gold card. I know his fielding will definitely help him out. That will help out his overall. But with that, you got to have better fielding. That'd be a gold card. I, I, 
I'm, I'm putting that at 84, but that can definitely... I mean, if he went down to an 85, I wouldn't be shocked. I'm putting that at minus 2, though, to an 84. Next up here, we have Christian Yelich, and I'm giving him a downgrade as well. Obviously, if he's an 85, getting a downgrade, he's going to be a silver now. I'm only going minus 1, so it'll be an 84. He's not a guy who hits for power. I mean, we all know that. He's a contact guy. Now, he has four home runs, slugging percentage of 374, which is a little lower than what you'd expect for a guy like Christian Yelich. But he's only hitting 252. So he's not hitting the ball with authority. But that's not his game. His game's getting just hitting, uh, getting on base, getting base hits. But he's not doing that either. Now, like I said, his fielding may help him out a little bit. That helps up his overall. But I think that he does deserve a decrease in contact versus right and left. Because of that, a minus one to an 84. But still a very good card. Next up here, we have Ryan Zimmerman. I think it's now time he deserves a gold card. I know he has the diamond from the April Player of the Month, but he's just doing so freaking well this year. He's still hitting 372. I know it's gone down. He wasn't going to be hitting over 400 the year. We all know that. But he's still hitting 372. His slugging percentage is 724. Incredible. And... You see his contact versus right is a lot lower than contact versus left. So I saw what he's hitting versus right-handed pitchers. He's hitting 368 versus right-handers. It's basically what he's hitting against lefties. So because that increased contact versus right, increased power versus right, plus three, make him a gold San Diego Studios. For God's sakes, it's well overdue. Up next, a guy who definitely deserves an upgrade as well. It's Michael Conforto. I'm giving him a plus three to an 83. Not a gold yet, but a young guy. I could see him get it. Um, his slash line this year, so that's his average on base and slugging, is a 333 average, a 425 on base, a 713 slugging, 13 home runs, and he's slugging 778 versus left handed pitchers. Now, he's not hitting for great contact versus left handers, but he is hitting the ball with authority. He has three home runs and limited at bats, a 778 slugging versus left handers. I say increase contact versus right, increase power versus right, and increase power versus left. You do all that, give him a plus three to an 83. Not a gold yet, but again, this is a guy I could see go gold definitely this year. Up next, we have Mike Leak. I think he's getting an upgrade to a plus two. I know he's got an upgrade before, but let's put him at an 83 right now. His ERA this year is a 2.03. Very, very good. His whip is under one. He's a guy who doesn't walk many. So, I mean, the whip being low is pretty much on par for him. He doesn't strike it a lot, but he's just a guy, a single ball guy. Who doesn't walk people. There's really good value in that. So I say a plus 2 to an 83. Fun fact about Mike Leak. Guy has pretty solid power numbers for a pitcher. So if you use him. He's got 43 power versus right. 34 power versus left. Just a little little hidden stat there. In case you guys did not know that. About Mike Leak. And lastly here guys. We have Zach Greinke. Now this one. This one's really interesting. I think he's going diamond. But I could see that he, I could see why San Diego Studios doesn't, but I think he shouldn't. I'm going to explain why. Now, his ERA right now is not, it's, it could be diamond if this guy was already a diamond, but it's usually a high gold. A 2.82 ERA is nothing outstanding for a pitcher. It's really, really good, don't get me wrong, but like diamonds, like Chris Sale's a 2.19 ERA, stuff like that. However, his whip this year is under one, it's a 0.97. That's really, really good for a starter. And then this year, what, Zach Link he's doing is he's striking guys out. His K's per nine is at 10.48. If you increase his K's per nine by like five, he's a diamond. You don't have to do anything else. So if they just increase his K's per nine, which I think is well deserving with that 10.48 ERA, I mean K's per nine, his whip is under one, so you don't touch like the walks per nine, you can even, or hits per nine, you can even help that out because that whip is under one. I think he goes diamond. I give him a plus one. He's a 90 overall. So those are my 10 cards, guys. Like I said, if you think I missed anyone, meet me in the comments down below. Like I said, if you think I I might have mentioned someone in a prior video, so go check those out too, just in case. So you don't like be like, oh, Matt Kemp, I mentioned him last week or something like that. So hope you guys did enjoy this. Hope this helps you out. Make some good investments for your team and get those extra stubs to get the player you want. But that's it for the video, guys. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you all later. Take it easy. Peace.